guys! So today I have a nail polish haul for you. And I haven't done just a nail polish haul in a really long time. But I've recently acquired some new nail polish. I bought a few of them. The majority of them were sent to me from subscribers and... Sorry about the fire whistle, it's going off. Um, yeah, most of them were sent by subscribers. I think one or two brands I got from the actual company, which I'll let you know all of that as I'm going through them. I just dyed my hair today. It's the same color it always is. I don't know what's happening over here. Um, but if you see, like you can see the dye it gets on my scalp, and it's always like that the first day, so I'm sorry. I know somebody will be like, oh my god, what's wrong with your scalp? It's just, it's okay. Focus on everything else. Focus on my shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to go by brand. The first brand I have is Nails Inc. Nails Inc. is one of my favorite high-end brands. Well, are they high-end? Yeah, I guess they are. I have a few polishes. They were all sent to me by a lovely subscriber. And I'm going to go through them. So this is Royal Botanical Garden. This one I've worn, and I wore it with... Kensington Palace Garden and they just look so beautiful together. They're just like freaking peanut butter and jelly. Very, very opaque, very smooth, easy to apply. Nothing bad to say about these guys and the colors are so beautiful. Oh, I just love them. They're so cute. So thank you to my lovely subscriber. I'm not going to say any names because some people don't want their like business put out like that. So you guys know who you are that sent me these things. And then the last two I have, this one is Queen Victoria Street. This one I haven't worn as like a full manicure, but I put this on one nail. Oh my God, this is so opaque. This is one of the most pigmented nail polishes I have ever used. And it's like a grass green. I think it's picking up kind of turquoise on camera, but it's actually like a true green and it's beautiful and I think this will be my next manicure because this is like a hard color to find I feel like well it actually does have a little bit of a turquoise tint to it I shouldn't say it's a true grass green anyway you can see the color it's gorgeous and then this last one is Notting Hill Gate so on the bottle it says new neon shade now we all know that this is really not a neon, but it's bright and it's beautiful. The formula on this, I was kind of playing around with it, it's very sheer, extremely sheer. So you have to build and build probably like a four coater. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in this guy. I thought I had another nails ink. Oh, I did. This is Devonshire Row. And this, again, I just kind of tried on one nail. Very pigmented, beautiful orchid color. Formula is true to Nails Inc. Very easy to apply. If you guys haven't tried Nails Inc., it's a really, really good brand. I think I have probably like 20 of their polishes. And honestly, I think I love all of them except for like one. And that's because I don't like the color. So it's a really good brand. Next up, I have some polishes from Gosh. I had never tried the brand Gosh before. But this guy right here, this is Wild Lilac. This I have on my toes right now. This formula is amazing. Now, I'm 6'1", 6 six foot, 6'1". Six so in order for me to get to my toes, it's, it's a long way down. I mean, my legs are pretty damn long. So I reserve my toes for really good formula nail polishes because I cannot be down there hunched over, cramped up, doing three coats and messing around. It, the formula has to be really good for you to make it to my toes. So this guy is on my toes, two coats, opaque, smooth, beautiful. I love this nail polish. Love it, love it, love it. The other three I have, this one is a special edition, so I don't know if it's still out, but this is Venus, and it's a really pretty, like, dusty turquoise color. Haven't tried it yet, but the bottle has little stars on it, and it's so cute. Hmm, I like it. This little baby cakes is bubblegum and this is a pink that I really like it's a cool tone pink and it kind of has a little tint of purple to it like oh I just looking at this like excites me anybody else get that with 
maybe I don't know but I think this is absolutely gorgeous don't know how the formula is but I love this pink and then the last one I have is peachy and this should be called orangey it's not peach it's more orange but that's nice because I don't buy orange nail polish that often so this is a nice little change and yeah I think it'll be really pretty in the summer 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 time what is my lashes are so freaking long that they get stuck together. I guess this is a good problem to have. But if you guys ever see me like rolling my eyes back in my head, it's because my eyelashes are stuck together. Okay, the next brand I want to talk about is Bourgeois. Now, Bourgeois is a brand that I cannot get unless I order it online. It's a UK, Canada kind of thing. If you guys live in an area where you can get Bourgeois nail polish, you better be thankful. Thank the thank the Lord above. I'm sorry. These nail polishes that I'm about to show you, I'm obsessed. I'm saying obsessed. I am totally, truly obsessed with these nail polishes. They are amazing. Oh my God. Don't text me. I'm on it. Oh, it's it's my Danny Panda. Excuse me, coffee break with Danny. I am trying to film a video, so you are gonna have to wait till later, my friend. Welcome to my face. Back to Bourgeois. So the first one I have is the One Second Texture Silicone Gel Polish in Turquoise Block. This is the only one I have in this type, but this is so opaque. One coat, easily one coat, and it dries in seconds. Now this is going to stain the crap out of your nails, but if you like double up on the base coat, Honestly, if you need to have your nails painted in like two minutes and be out the door, this is it. I've never seen a polish dry this fast and it is so opaque. Good God. Good God. The other three that I have are my reason for living. This is Adora Blue. This reminds me of Essie's Bikini Sotini, which I think I have. I thought I had it right here, but maybe I don't. It is gorgeous. I love this kind of blue. I could I could have 8,000 polishes this color and still want more. Oh, this looks so gorgeous on. The formula is oh, smooth. I'm sorry, that noise that keeps happening. Smooth and opaque and beautiful and just so freaking easy. I'm so, so sorry. This is peach and love and again it's so smooth and opaque and pigmented and oh, I need more bourgeois nail polish in my life this last one is my favorite this is um almond day I'm not gonna say the name I'll put it down here because I am NOT going to embarrass myself any more than I already have this color is like my life now, I saw a vlog from Lily Pebbles not too long ago, and she had on a Deborah Lipman nail polish that was like a neon baby green. This reminds me so much of that nail polish that she had on, and I just, oh my god, I love it. I love the formula. It's just so easy and beautiful, and when you have it on, you just want to like, you want to strangle yourself. You don't even want to strangle someone else. You have to do it to yourself. This is a whole new level of violence, people. So I'm telling you guys, these three nail polishes, I, I haven't been this crazy about these. I'm sorry, I can't even talk. I'm going to move on. I have one nail polish from CoverGirl. This is the XL Nail Gel in Bodacious Berry. This was also sent to me from a subby, one of my camel crew. And it's gorgeous. I can't wait till the weather, well, I can wait till the weather cools down. But I'm excited for it to cool down so that I can wear this. But I don't ever want summer to end. I just, I love this color, but I won't wear this in the summer. I'm one of those people that does brights in the summer, oranges and browns and purples in the fall, you know. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Don't know how the formula is, but the color is gorgeous. Napoleon Purtis sent me a few nail polishes just as a thank you for pimping him out pretty much. I am Napoleon Purtis's pimp. So I haven't tried any of these guys. Actually, I'm lying. I tried two of them, but I didn't do a full Manny. So this is French Navy. This one I haven't tried. It's a really pretty 
like deep blue but I think it's gonna keep that brightness which I like and then this is orange sherbet and it's such a fun summer color mm, this is a good toe color and then the last two I have I love this is Mediterranean blue this is the one that I tried out this is a jelly formula but it's really an opaque jelly oh, mm, it's so pretty and then this guy is mint julep Look at that, like this is like a neon green, like turquoisey. It's really pretty. I didn't realize how gorgeous this was until I'm just looking at it now. Oh my gosh. I love you, little mint julep. Huh. Okay, I have two polishes from Wet n Wild, and I picked these up last night at CVS. This is Trippin' on the Boardwalk, and this reminded me of Station Tarty Tart which no purple polish will ever compare to that, but I feel like this is similar. And this also looks like Illamasqua Jomina. And then I have Love Me Some Muscles. I love that name. And I have 76 nail polishes that are this exact same color, but it was $1.99. It's Wet n Wild. I love this brand. And yeah, I don't know. I thought they would be pretty together. So maybe I will swatch them tonight for you guys. Okay, I have five Julie G babies that I'm just going to breeze through because you guys already know I adore Julie G. This is Canary. Oh, Canary Islands. This is from her new cruise collection. Haven't tried it, but this is a beautiful yellow. I like yellow nails and I never wear it. So yeah, this is, you guys will definitely be seeing this if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This guy is Old San Juan, and again, I mean, didn't I just say I have 5,000 nail polishes in the peach family, but I don't care. It's gorgeous, and I needed it in my little stinking life. And then this is Rio de Janeiro. This is what I have on now. I don't know if I showed you guys this before. I have dots on, but this is my base color. Formula is so good and smooth and just easy. It's it's Julie G. What do you expect? And then the last two I have, this is my horoscope says. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's one of those like hot pinks that has that opal, kind of like a blue tint to it, and it's really, really pretty. And I bought these myself, by the way. And then this one is OM to the G. It's just OMG, but you know. This is neon, Essie and OPI. This is neon, no white base required. Don't you dare even think about telling me to pull it. <laughs> it is so bright and beautiful. It's a sheer formula, so you do have to build it up like three or four coats, but it is so worth it. If you want a true neon, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the last thing that I have is a brand called Nika K. I have never tried this brand. These were all sent to me from a subscriber. So I'm going to breeze through them. Have not tried any of them. I don't know anything about anything. And I'm going to give you guys the number because they don't have names on them. But I will put the names down in the description box with the number in case you're interested. So this is 117. And uh, look at that color. That's just so, just so pretty. Oh, Jesus. I want eyeshadow this color. Is that wrong of me? Probably not. This is 137. Peach, again. And then this guy is 114. I love this yellow. It has like shimmer in it. And it's kind of neon. And I'm kind of excited. I hope the formula is good on this. And then I have a couple pinks here. This is 144. I'll compare these so you guys can see the difference. This is 104, so this one's a little bit more like whitish. And then this last one is 107. So, there you be. Pink for everybody. And then the last three I have, there are two beautiful purples. This one is 121, and look at that like sheen that it has. And then this guy is 113. Oh, lavender. I could never have enough lavender nail polish in my life. So, so beautiful. And look at these bottles. Are they not super fancy? I'm excited for this brand. And then this last one is 135. And it's like a, a neon orange, but it has like a shimmery sheen to it. Mmm. 
I'm excited. Okay, and the very last thing that I have to show you guys are these nail and cuticle balms from Glisten and Glow. Now, Glisten and Glow is the brand that makes my most favorite top coat, which is HK Girl. Now, I started out with HK Girl just from many of you telling me to go and try it. So, I purchased it. Initially, I purchased it on my own, tried it out, fell in love, and then a few days ago, I got a little care package in the mail from Jill. She sent me a few bottles of Top Coat and these two guys just as a thank you because I talk about her Top Coat a lot just because I adore it. It's absolutely amazing. Best Top Coat that I've ever used. I will link Glisten and Glow down below. But these are her new cuticle balms. Well, I don't know how new they are. This Sangria White Peach, I'm pretty sure you can get now. And then this one in Papaya Mango is coming out, I think, around Memorial Day. I could be wrong, but I'll put everything down below. So I've used both of these. First off, they smell so good. And what I really love about them, they are not super greasy and oily. Some balms, when you put them on, you're just greased up and you can't, you have to like freeze and not do anything for 10 minutes. These are just, you get, you're getting like hydration, you're getting the balm, but it doesn't make you all shiny and greasy and it's not super liquidy. It's just the perfect, honestly, the perfect consistency. And I'm not just saying that because she sent them to me. You guys know if I didn't like them, I would say, I'm sorry, Jill, I love you, but mm, back to the drawing board. But honestly, these guys smell absolutely delicious. <laughs> delicious. That is all that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail polish haul. I really hope this video is not too long. I know you guys say that you don't mind, but I feel like some people mind. So I'm sorry if it is. But I love you guys. Let me know what polishes you like the most. If you want to see a nail art video with anything, my striping tape video is coming. Like I said, it's filmed. Did I tell you that? I filmed it. And it'll be up Monday or Tuesday. So look for that. I know it's been so freaking long. Some of you are probably dead with the anticipation. What? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you were entertained by it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So a couple of my subscribers kind of banded together and pretty much held me down with a gun to my head and said, if you don't call us the camel crew, we're going to chop your head off. So my subscribers will now be known as the Camel Crew. I don't know how this whole Camel Toe thing, it just took off and I don't know. It's kind of scary. Now I'm like Mama Camel, Camel Mama. What has happened? I guess the Camel's going to be my new favorite animal. I'm going to have to buy a pet Camel. I already have a pet Camel. <laughs> and she is a raunchy, little nasty, feisty little Camel. Stop talking about your vagina. I, I can't, you guys, I have to stop talking about how long have I been talking about this nail polish? It's been a good like five minutes. But look at the colors! They're just like, oh my god, you just want to like, kill the Easter Bunny. Is it, is it entertaining or is it kind of scary to watch me go from being like a somewhat normal person at the beginning of a video and by the end, I have entered into this realm of psychosis? Does that entertain all of you or are some of you actually worried? <laughs> I feel like you should be worried. Is anybody worried about my well-being? I need to know. And if you say no, I will put my camel. Oh, you can't say stuff like that. Well, as you can see, I have like prom eye makeup on. I just couldn't stop. And I used my new Marc Jacobs palette. I used these two guys. This guy and this guy. <laughs> and I used a little of this white. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but... Do you ever sit down and you have something in mind and it totally just goes awry and you end up looking like you're ready for um, Dancing with the Stars? Yeah? No? If you don't know what I'm talking about, then shut your mouth and go watch another video. Of mine. Of, of mine. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm really annoyed with having to layer these two perfumes. Like, it's a real pain in the tuchus. And what do you do? Just like, is this what you guys do? Or do you actually like do one and then do the other? Or am I... You know what? I don't care. I'm just dabbing. Just everywhere. Just dab it. Just dab it. Don't rub. Just pat. Don't yell at me. Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! That only happens to Disney princesses. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. So I had a breakdown last night. I'm um, thinking about my son going away to college. I broke down. I cried. Probably I sobbed for a good like 20 minutes. And then it's so funny when you go in their room and I'm like, Hunter. And he's like, oh, mom, what's wrong? Like he gets very nervous. And I'm like, I don't want, I really don't want you to go to college. And I'm sobbing like to the point where you can't even breathe. You're like, <laughs> and he just stands there and he's like, uh, 
do, do you need a hug? Are you okay? Like, she gets so scared. And then I'm okay. I just, you know, you, moms need to expel that once in a while. I mean, I don't understand why he can't just be a checkout boy at the grocery store for the rest of his life and stay home with his mother. Who needs to be a pharmacist? Jeez, these kids and their big aspirations. I tell you, it's very annoying. <laughs>